right, folks, here we go. It never ends. Same thing. So I'm working with the client. Pull the good old switch out of the closet, and I notice, hey, look at that. I'm in, right? I, I'm connected via a laptop with a USB to DB9 connector, serial, console port, however you want to say it. So you can see there's, obviously, I'm in at the prompt, and now at this point, I want to go into enable mode, enter, and there's a password. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to show you how to set this 3750X back to default, hopefully quick and easy way. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are going to reboot this Cisco switch. And the important thing to keep in mind is this little mode button. I know it looks like a little plug that you, you, know, you plug a jack into or something. No, it's a button. So what I've done, just to make this the easiest uh, reboot process possible, this is connected into a power bar. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the power bar on, and you're going to hear this thing wake up, and I call it the Cisco Roar of Life. And after it turns on, I don't know how well you're going to hear me, and um, it'll just ramp up, and then um, hopefully it'll slow down in a bit. There it goes. So I'm going to come over here and press and hold the button, and you're waiting for that status light to turn green. On the actual console screen, if you had HyperTerm running, TerraTerm, PuTTY, whatever your favorite terminal software is, you'll notice the screen's blank, and then when it's done, it'll actually say, this system has been interrupted prior to initialization, blah, 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 blah. And at one point you'll see it says the password recovery mechanism is enabled. And when that pops up on your screen, that's the same time this LED will turn green. And then at that point, you know you're ready to go on to the next step. I will have a screen capture for you of the actual screen. There you go. So it's flashing. It's ready to go. You're in business. And we'll move on to the next step. All right, folks, so now you've gone through that boot process, and now you're prompted with this switch colon prompt, as opposed to what you saw a moment ago, which was the host name of that device. So from here, what we need to do is initialize our flash. So it's literally flash underscore init. And if you notice, you've only really got two commands, right? Flash init and boot. So this is going to initialize the flash on the unit, so we can actually take a look at the flash, see what files are on there, at that point you can delete them, you can remove them, I'm sorry, delete them or move them uh, off that flash because that's basically all you need is to make sure the iOS is the only thing on that flash. So here we go, we're initializing the flash. I hope it turries up. You know what I might do? I might just pause this so you don't have to sit here for the next few seconds and watch the screen drone on. So I'm just going to pause this and then I'll bring it back in a bit. There we go. Flash is initialized. So now we're back to our prompt. DIR space flash colon enter. Oops, I was not on the screen. Flash colon enter. There we go. And you can see there's all sorts of stuff here. All we need is the iOS. The iOS is going to be the one that actually has a reference to the model of the device. So all these files can go. And now you have two options here. You can either just delete them, right? or you can create a folder and move them there if you're not sure if you're going to need them later. I like to do the second option. I'll create a folder, I'll copy everything on, then delete the originals and leave only the iOS file. Uh, and that way in case somebody needed them at a later date, they will be there for them. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you're not familiar with this screen, you can always type help and it gives you a list of all the commands that you can use. Of course, you've got delete, you've got copy, uh, you've got make directory, that kind of stuff. So there's the basic operating commands that you would need. So the first thing I'm going to do is mkdir flash colon and I'll call old stuff. So now we have a directory called old stuff and then I'm literally going to um, copy the files to that folder and then I'm going to delete them. So I'm not going to show you all that tedious stuff. Uh, I'll just pause this for a bit and then I'll bring you in every once in a while to show you where I'm at. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I just went through, I deleted all the files except the iOS file. That's so important here. Let me just do a directory again just to show you. Oops. There we go. And you can see the only thing left is the old stuff folder that I put stuff in there. You don't need to do this, right? If you have issues doing that, you just delete the files if you want. 
uh, but that's it so now from here if I was to type help you'll see that there's um, obviously going to be a command to reset the system right that's that's a good one obviously so you can just type reset and you want to reset the system yes and off you go to the races I'm going to just pause the video and you'll see the prompt we get after this thing starts up again all right so it's all booted up as you can see it says press return to get started so I saved this dramatic pause for now and when you press enter it says do you would like to enter the initial configuration dialog yes or no I'll say no and there you are you're on the switch enable bang good to go so there you go hope that helps you out have a good day bye for now